Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. You see that trailer? I hope it's gonna have a skid steer on it here in just a little bit. We're gonna go look at a John Deere skid steer. I believe it's a model 250. As you can see, we've got something missing here. I sold the Buick Grand National and I sold the Super Sport 454 truck so we could build some stuff for the farm. We didn't need the toys, we did need the tools. So come along today as we go look at this skid steer. We'll walk around it and see if it's worth buying. I hope it is. All right? Woo! Stony Ridge. Rolling coal in the Cummins right now. A little bit of rain clouds come over, and I just called the fellow where we're going to go look at this machine, and it's starting to pour down rain. So uh, I've heard a lot of good things about the Model 250 John Deere uh, skid loader. I am not brand loyal at all, so I don't care what brand name it is. We were actually looking at a Kubota SVL95, which is a 95 horsepower machine. I believe this machine is around 60 to 65 horsepower, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but uh, I think it'll get us through what we need to get started in the world of skid steers. I don't want to spend 50 grand. I want to not go into debt to buy our next machine we're trying to get out of debt that's a, the biggest thing that we're trying to do on our in our lives on the farm so living in a cheap house and we're trying to get out of debt and, and build a profitable business i think in order to do that we've got to buy an affordable uh, skid steer so we'll get down here and check it out if it's not pouring down rain i'll throw the camera on it we'll all walk around it together and then we'll see it if we buy it if it's a piece of junk, then we won't buy it. <laughs> and we'll talk about that too. All right. with a tooth bucket right over there. The machine is a 1999 model, John Deere, with a John Deere engine, turbo diesel, with 200 hours, 200 hours. Virtually a brand new machine. Tell me what you think we should pay for it. At the end of the video, I'll tell you what we did pay for it. It's a very nice machine. We're gonna load her up. guys it's the next day we got home after dark and this is a skid loader so it's a John Deere model 250 I'll let one of you guys it's an equipment guy tell me all the specs on this thing uh, it seems to be a great machine again it's a low hour machine it's uh, almost 20 years old with only 200 hours I'm gonna take you all the way around the machine here just to show you we're probably in need of tires sometime in the next hundred hours I'm gonna be doing some research to get the over the tire tracks for this machine so that I can utilize it in the mud and muck in the winter time and I think this will get us by I don't think we need a big old 90 horsepower machine you guys let me know it came with a tooth bucket and it's virtually brand new. I'm gonna walk you around the machine and we'll get it off the trailer here. Shiny new chain. <laughs> it's a fine art to be in 6'5 and stuffing yourself in a <laughs> piece of machinery. And there's also a fine art to forgetting the darn key. <laughs> oh, man. This is important.
behind this machine. This again is a 1999 John Deere 250 model. It has a three cylinder John Deere diesel, turbo diesel engine in it. We'll crack open the hood. The oil looks clean as a whistle. Everything looks clean as a whistle. It has basically wear from sitting in the shed pretty much. So let's go around, and show you what's up. Okay, so here is the hood. Open her up right here. Everything looks great inside. Uh, the turbo doesn't have any kind of wine to it or anything like that. When we check the oil, everything looks absolutely awesome. It's clean as a whistle. I'll bring the camera in here a little closer so you can see, okay? So here's our radiator. Everything looks nice and clean. Again, this machine has been shed kept. So everything looks super duper awesome. If you raise, I believe you raise this guy up. Yep, raise this guy up. There's our little John Deere engine. Little three cylinder diesel engine. Probably the same engine setup as in our 5065 tractor. So very nice. And again, we open and close our door. Right there. Cool. Look at the back end of this machine. It is not beat up. It has not been ramming up against trees or anything like that. Very little rust. If you look on the top, this has been a shed cut machine. A very, very nice machine. If you walk on around, got a little surface rust here and there. Nothing major at all. Again, this is a 200 hour machine. You can see we need some tires pretty soon here. I'm going to start quoting prices and we're going to look at rubber tracks for this machine also. Now if we come up here to the bucket, everything is tight in the hydraulics. No leaks, no problems there. And even the teeth on the bucket are basically brand new. This machine is a true 200 hour, 20 year old machine. Inside the operator station, it's absolutely clean as a whistle. You can see that it has stick controls and foot controls, just like your typical old school skid steer. Let's get in the operator station and I'll show you how it all works. We're inside the operator station here. I've got plenty of room and you can see that the headliner is still in pretty good shape right here. So our key is right up here. Very simple. No fancy codes or anything. We just turn the key on. This purrs like a kitten, baby. Check out these gauges. So there's our key, that's our brake, that's our glow plugs, these are our hours, 285 hours, and all of our lights here, we've got great oil pressure, it's still cold, good alternator, and it's packed full of fuel. And then we have a bunch of toggle switches over here, all the lights work on this machine, very nice. Now again, this machine is joystick control, in other words, you have to push both handles to go forward. If you push harder on the right side, it'll turn that way. If you push harder on the left side, it'll turn that way. And if you pull back on the handles, it will reverse. Down at my feet are controls for the bucket. And that's how we raise and lower the bucket. I'll show you. Okay, that's that foot. And this foot right here, you can see the foot controls right there. That rocks your bucket. Tips the bucket forward and rock it back. Tips the bucket back. Here's our throttle right here. It's a very tight, responsive machine, man. You'll get to see a whole lot more of this machine here on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I cannot wait to put this thing to work. I've got two attachments to go on this already. We've got a grapple attachment that we'll be using to clean up the woods a little bit. And we have a tree clipping attachment, which is gonna be super duper awesome. We can go up, raise it up in the air and clip off limbs on the trees instead of having to use the pole saw. Super cool guys. Ugh, let me get out of here. Now, I told you guys, I'd tell you what I paid for it at the end of the video. Give me your best guess right now what we paid for this machine. Just post it down there in the comments. We paid right at 13 grand for this machine, a low hour machine. I don't think we'd ever find a better deal. I think it's gonna do exactly what we wanna do on the farm. Guys, I wanna thank you a whole lot for being part of the channel today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I can't wait to put this thing to work here on the farm and show you guys what a workhorse it is, what a machine it is. We thank you a whole lot and we'll see you guys next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. We sold our hot rods and we bought farm equipment. Awesome, see you next time. Woo! We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge,